Hello and welcome to Team GLFI. Today we are going to discuss integrated clock gating cells, which is popularly known as ICG cells. Team GLFI welcomes you in this channel, and if you have learned something uh, from this channel, uh, we would request you to like this video and subscribe our channel and press the bell bell icon also. Uh, our channel is youtubecom GLFI or you can search by the keyword team GLFI. Before going to the main topic, I would brief the background of this topic. Uh, so uh, in the ASIC design, our uh, prime goal is PPA, that is power performance in area. We always want to uh, lower the power, uh, increase the performance and reduce the area. Uh, and uh, we uh, built the clock tree in network inside the uh, ASIC design uh, and uh, it is built for uh, evenly distribution of clocks uh, throughout the chip to all the flops uh, with the minimum SQ and minimum latency. Uh, and we know that the uh, clock network is switching very fast and uh, it consumes lots of power, especially the dynamic power. Uh, so, achieve this uh, lesser power in the design, we apply various uh, low power design techniques uh, and uh, the clock gating techniques is one of the technique, uh, one of the uh, most popular technique in low power uh, design techniques. And uh, to uh, implement the clock gating techniques, we use the integrated clock gating shape, which we are going to talk uh, about in this session. Now I would like to uh, talk about the requirement of ICG cells. Uh, so here I am presenting a uh, clock tree network, it is a part of clock tree network and if we zoom this area, it looks like this. Uh, so uh, these uh, red parts are the flip flops here and it is uh, getting the clock uh, from uh, this clock tree, right. And these are the uh, integrated clock getting cells. Uh, so uh, in ICG cells, we have a control uh, uh, through which we can uh, stop the clock progression uh, beyond these cells. Uh, so we can uh, stop the clock, uh, clock propagation uh, uh, to all these cells, all these cells uh, and we can save lots of dynamic power. Here you can see that these clock getting cells are sitting near the sink. Uh, there could be a different case where ICG cells is sitting near the source. Uh, so uh, both uh, has its own uh, pros and cons. We are not going to discuss uh, that here. So what we expect the desired function of the ICG cells? Uh, let me demonstrate here. Uh, so uh, suppose uh, there are a bunch of flops here. Uh, and we need to uh, apply the clocks uh, in these flops. So uh, instead of directly applying the clock from the clock uh, source to these flops, we uh, put a uh, ICG cells in between. Uh, so uh, the clock will propagate now through this ICG cells and uh, we have uh, a control over this ICG cells so that we can uh, pass or stop the clocks from this cells. And uh, for that we have a, a clock enable pin in ICG cells where we apply a clock enable signal. So whenever the clock enable is high, it will allow to propagate the uh, clock signal from the clock source to uh, these uh, flops and whenever the clock enable signal is low, it will stop the uh, clock signal here and it won't propagate uh, the clock uh, to beyond this ICG cells. Uh, so in this way we save lots of power, uh, especially dynamic power in our design. Uh, so uh, if we talk the function of this ICG cell then we can describe as a truth table like this. Uh, so whenever the clock enable is 1, uh, uh, Q this Q will be uh, clock and whenever uh, the clock enable is 0, uh, it won't uh, allow to propagate the clock. 
so so output will be zero by looking this table one can think why do we need this icg cell uh, we can achieve this functionality by simply a uh, and gate so if we apply the enable and clock signal at the input of the and gate uh, it will give the same output uh, that means when enable is high it will allow to pass the clock signals to the out and when enable is low it will stop the clock signal right yes it is right uh, but uh, using this uh, and get as a uh, uh, clock getter here uh, we have some problem uh, i will demonstrate it uh, so uh, let's suppose uh, this is our clock signal which is going to the uh, one of this uh, input of uh, and get and uh, this is the enable signal is going to at the another input of the and get so output would be like this uh, here uh, wherever the enable signal is high uh, it allow to pass the uh, clock signal and wherever the uh, enable signal is low it stop the clock signal uh, but at this area i have highlighted uh, you can see here a glitch Uh, so you you will see the glitch whenever the uh, enable signal is pitching and uh, clock signal is high so for so this type of uh, in that case you will see this type of glitch and you know uh, that the glitch in uh, clock signal is not desired uh, we want a glitch free clock signal uh, so to avoid this Uh, glitches in uh, this we cannot use the and get and we have a better solution for that so here i am showing you a most popular schematic of a icg cells that is made of using a negative level sensitive latch and uh, uh, and get connected like this uh, so uh, enable pin of Uh, this uh, negative level sensitive latch is connected to clock and uh, same clock is going to the and gate and uh, a control signal which is called here clock enable signal uh, is connected to this en pin which controls uh, controls this icg cells either uh, it has to stop the clock or it has to pass the clock and if we apply the same input uh, to this icg cells Uh, we will get a output from this uh, latch like this. Uh, we know that uh, the functionality of a uh, negative level sensitive latch is uh, when our clock is low, it is transparent, and when uh, uh, clock is high, uh, it is lacks the previous output. Uh, so uh, we will get the uh, Q output from this latch like this, and uh, the final output which we get from this AND gate uh, will be uh, the ending of this Q and this clock signal. And uh, from here you can see that it is completely a glitch free. Uh, so uh, this this configuration is uh, widely used in ICG cells. Uh, there could be. Uh, a uh, different architecture of this icg cells uh, but one of the simplest and uh, most popular architecture is this one thank you thank you for uh, watching this session if you find this video is useful to you uh, please do like this video and subscribe our channel at the end of this video i would uh, encourage you to think further on this point kindly pause this video and think on these points you can follow us uh, our blog kinjlfi.com uh, and our facebook page uh, and you can join us on telegram and uh, whatsapp the link is given on the description thank you again